three, two, one. <laughs> This episode is just going to be a little bit more casual. I'm actually on my family vacation up in Huntsville, Ontario. So we just rented a trailer for the week and I brought with me the Polaroid Z340. This one I bought used off of eBay. So I'm just going to go through the features really quick and then I'm going to take a few shots uh, here at Mary Lake. So here's what it looks like. Kind of models after the uh, old Polaroid Spectra series. Uh, they try to get that vintage feel. And there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel coming at me. All right, so real quick, the features. It's got a 14 megapixel sensor, five times digital zoom. So it does not have an optical zoom. It's just digital. Um, you can see just a little lens in there. You'd think it was a bigger lens, but it's actually just like almost like a little phone lens. So um, we'll see how the quality is uh, based on that alone. It's got a little flash off to the side here. And this is actually where it prints the three inch by four inch uh, zinc paper photos so that's their instant system for this so it prints in under a minute on the side here we've got some ports so you've got I've got an SD card in there um, there's your charging port and a USB as well on the back there's just an attachment for a strap it didn't come with that the one I got um, here's your battery compartment and then in here goes your paper um, which I'm going to show you in a minute how to load that and how it looks when you uh, print a photo there's the top of it there so you've got your kind of articulating screen and all your menu options here. There's your shutter button to power it on. You just push that. Comes on and then to power it back off again. Just like that. Um, here's your zoom for your digital zoom. I actually didn't use it at all. Um, I just wanted to avoid that digital zoom at all costs. So uh, the screen does pop up. It doesn't swivel, it doesn't, or it doesn't rotate, doesn't do anything else like that. It just pops up. Kind of, it kind of locks in place. It's pretty flimsy. Um, it's metal on the front here, but the rest of it's kind of a rubberized plastic. So as you can see, it, it kind of gets stuff stuck to it really easily. So uh, now I'm going to show you how to load the zinc paper. We just open up the back here, and then we open up our zinc paper. When you pull it out, it'll look like this. I've got the whole stack, and it says, must load barcode facing down. I think you just slide it in as far as you can. Push that down. I'm gonna turn it on and see what happens. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is power it on. Switch over to play, and I can uh, see some images I've taken. So we've got uh, an old abandoned Chevette here. So I got a nice shot of the engine. So I'm just gonna print. So I press print, and I can select how many prints I want here up in the upper left. So I just want one, and then you push print again, and now we'll see how long it takes to print. All right, and there it is there. I'll show you uh, how it looks digitally, and I'll show you a whole bunch more as well. So here's my quick two cents. The Polaroid Z340, when it came out in 2011, there was a lot of hype uh, before when the prototype was announced with Lady Gaga. Now, the actual camera that came out was nothing like the prototype. The lens was not nearly as good. The build quality was not as nice. 
And so fanfare, I think, died off pretty quickly. It was out for a few years before being discontinued, and I'm not sure what the sales figures were, but I don't know anyone else who bought one. So then what was it like to use? Um, it was fun, the kids really enjoyed it. The kids like uh, getting a print and showing it to their friends and the family and things like that. I think that old, uh, the, I think that old school Polaroid feel was there in that regard, but I think that's where it ended. The body itself was awkward. I know it was based off the Spectra, but we haven't had cameras like that in quite a while. So to have a digital camera in that shape, it, it was supposed to bring back kind of a nostalgic feel, but it was kind of just unnecessary. And I guess seven years later down the road, they've kind of realized that because the camera's no longer available and the other camera that has a printer is not much bigger than your phone. So if you're a Polaroid collector, I'd say um, it's something that you should pick up because it's something that's part of Polaroid history. Um, you can use it once in a while, put it on the shelf, do whatever you want with it. But outside of that, I think there are cameras that can do the same thing better. Feel free to check out my other videos and watch out for more to come. See you next time.